everybody welcome back to j and j tabletop this is episode uh we just went through this 14 14 of our uh vecna eve of ruin playthrough this is our live play our actual play uh my name is josh i will be your dungeon master this evening or morning or afternoon or um you know whenever whenever you're watching this um with me as always we have an incredible group of role players, of adventurers, of party members. Um, starting from our left, we have Michael, who you could find at Mr. Yoda underscore I underscore am. Uh, he is playing Biggest. Biggest Brute Fist. That's uh, right. <laughs> right. You just had to look it up, didn't you? I didn't. No, oh, genuinely. You didn't look it. Yeah. But the but pause did make me wonder. The slight pause was me saying, "Is it Broodfist or Bright Maw?" Which brings me <laughs> to enough. our next player, directly underneath me on the screen. Uh, we have Lee. You can find him youtubecom slash at this crits. Um, also, like a bunch of other places too. But the links will be there. He is playing Aridel Bright Maw. And lastly, um, really, hopefully, you know who everyone is. And we kind of joked about doing these introductions, but hopefully you know who everyone is, but especially you should know who, who Jake is. Um, oh, hi. At, at J and Jake underscore, he's one of the J's here. Uh, he also plays My Little Copper Kettle. Um, he doesn't have that accent, but it, it feels like he should. So it does. It really I just does. realized <laughs> our group, we're the BBC. <laughs> 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 Brutus, Bright Ma, and Copper Kettle. Wow. All right. <laughs> How do you, yeah, you can't top that. I cut the line. That, that's, the, that's the threshold. That's <laughs> All right. So apparently we have an opening for another player in the game. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you've been here before for at least two episodes, you've probably seen Lee outraged before we even recapped. It's, uh, it's, it's a regular occurrence here, you know? It's yeah. actually, um, it's a drinking game. Oh yeah, that seltzer is really going down hard, huh? <laughs> is that a play on words because it's a hard seltzer or? or... <laughs> um, one thing I want to say before we actually get into things is, uh, one, I mean, this is coming later, so who knows where, where we'll be at, but we just hit 4,000 subscribers today on J&J &J Tabletop. Woo! And that's pretty exciting. J&J &J in 4K, <laughs> baby. Yeah, there you go. I know it's still 1080p, <laughs> but hey, you know. <laughs> um, so thank thank you all for that. Thanks for uh, for subscribing and being here with us. Uh, if there's ever any anything specific that you want to see or that you have questions on, join our Discord. Um, seriously, we have conversations in there all the time, whether it's about um, our favorite dice, which was a new one, um, as you, you you might know, me and Jake aren't big dice people. Um, we are, but it's, you know, I got my bag of dice and that's it. Um, <laughs> but we also, we also give advice and we also talk about ideas for videos in there. So if you want to get in on the conversation about the videos before it even happens, that's probably the best, best place to be. Uh, aside from that, I feel like I should mention many of these intros. We've started off by saying this is episode whatever. If you want to watch past episodes, this is where you can find them in this playlist. If you're starting off here, you're crazy. I feel like I have to shout out Marvels from our Discord. Yes, <laughs> because I think the first episode she watched was was it 11 or, or 10, something like that. It might have been. I, she's a, she's such a hero. She watches all of our stuff on mute because she wanted to avoid spoilers for the adventure. But now she's watching it because she's not going to play. So shout out to Marbles. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did, In the did, comment did, section. Did she actually like he, witness an episode? Like listen to it at Vanessa, all? Vanessa, let yeah. us know. Yeah. Let us know in the comment section. Get help. Don't attention. start at 11. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> It's my kind of people. That's what yes. I'm saying. <laughs> it's got a I'm one saying. in it. It's These good. That's where you start. These are the people we hang out with in our Discord. So join it. And uh, with that, I think we can just get back into our little recap. Um, Vanessa, you're great. That was a joke. <laughs> 
can I can no, I start? You're great. Now? You can. I'm gonna let you finish, but I just need to shout out my girlfriend. <laughs> Is it is it my turn to leave the call now? Go with us. I'm muting. All right. So, last episode of Vecna Eve of Ruin. My vocal muscle memory always wants to say ancient relics and hokey religions. Um, but our last episode, I don't think I really need to get crazy into it because we all want to know what's about to happen, right? They are on the hunt for this piece of the Rod of Seven Parts so that they could kill or banish or thwart Vecna's plans. They helped a tree and their blink dog friend. They <laughs> um, met the captain of the ship. They had uh, destroyed all of these wards that were supposed to, um, was supposed to block this area this safe space that the piece of the rod was hidden. And when they finally opened that door to find the second piece of the rod of seven parts, part of this ship that they were on is just smashed into the heart of this dying god, Havok. Uh, and they see that they are able... The piece of the rod is not where it's supposed to be. But... The heart is open, and they were able to step inside of the still-beating heart of this dying god, Havok. And as they walked through, and every now and then the whole, the whole room around them pulsates and, and shakes, some of it looks exactly like what you'd expect a heart to look like. You know, you've seen movies. Some of it is crystallized. They walk into a room, and nobody notices a giant monster. Perhaps a huge monster is more accurate. Hanging on the ceiling. And this voracious and terrifying beast, which resembles a skinless serpentine lizard with sharp claws and a gaping maw that drips venom. This gruesome monster drops from the ceiling and we will roll initiative. We would have oh, disadvantage on that, correct. Ooh, it uh, is an ability yeah. check. Yep. It, it uh, is. Oh, man. Oh, okay. That makes Milo a nine. And for the record, that was a two. Oof. Mine is a nine as well. You guys, uh, are to look at, you have mine naturally was a seven, though, by the way. I have disadvantage, but I also have advantage. And I rolled a gentleman seven. Oof! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm not swapping with anybody. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, man. our big bad. Or, I don't know. Hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy. Has a 22. So they will go now first. Just rubbing it in. Very interesting. I'm very, um, perhaps worth saying because if you've if you've followed this, you've heard me complain a little bit about the way D and D Beyond's map tool works and things that they should integrate it with. And I'm, I don't think they did a great job of it yet, just at first glance. But they integrated the encounter builder in there, and that's super cool. Um, so. That being said, this dude is going to go first. And it drops from the ceiling. And it's massive. Get your own material. We already beat a guy on the ceiling. Yeah, right. <laughs> the spider dragon. Does he take fall damage? <laughs> does not. Good question. No, but he falls on you. Actually, you take fall how damage. High <laughs> How tall is this? If you, I forget if you mentioned last time. But... Let's see. Uh... <laughs> like, Why do you ask that every time? Oh, Jake? No. <laughs> the guy you can fly wants to know how tall is there. Ceilings are fifty feet high. Okay. Biddy. 
That's right, and we have lots of movement. Or no, do we have lots of movement here? I think you said we couldn't because it was all weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're just doing regular... Okay, okay. Regular movement inside Ooh. inside the heart. It's the, the magic of the dying god is... Uh, it's throwing some chaos into the way you normally move around. Aaron will be happy about it. that, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh boy. Um, why don't... Oh boy. One of you raise your hands. Okay, all right. Uh, what, what normally what I would do is I would have that person roll a d4, but instead I'm gonna decide Iredell's the person that uh, this creature is going to attempt to bite first. <laughs> Honestly, that's for the best, if we're being <laughs> honest. <laughs> that is a 39 to hit. That is definitely gonna be a You miss. shut your mouth when you're talking to any of us! Oh my god! I need to do a better job of getting all my dice ready before we do things. There's one. Hashtag there's all one. the things you love hearing your dungeon master say. Mm. Hashtag right. 39 to hit. That. All of my dice isn't ready yet. That is. <laughs> 12 piercing damage. Oh yeah, that didn't, that's nothing. Let's yeah, just keep poking it, that's nothing. Oh man, that was so easy. I, I barely even felt it. And 11 poison damage, which I, is poison damage half for you or psychic damage is half? Psychic is the only one. Okay, yeah, so 11 poison damage. I what? also need you to make a strength saving throw. That's not good, actually. In fact, it's only a 12. Um. <laughs> Is that gonna be a failure? It is gonna be a failure. Yeah, I'm gonna re-roll that with my Smart. That, on the other hand, is a 29. Oh, you rat bastard. Uh, yeah. yeah DC you... was 28. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you succeed. <laughs> you succeed. Um, so... Nothing else happens to you except for the fact that it rolls a natural one trying to hit you with a claw and then rolls a 23 to hit Milo with a claw. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Okay. I only rolled 13 slashing damage, so nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, and there's no extra curriculars like there was with Aradale. There's no extracurriculars like there was with, with Aradel, and I actually... Alright, <laughs> All right, so there is a shimmering defensive field. Yeah, you like that? The shimmering defensive field absorbs 13 of the damage. Dang, okay. Very nice. That will, uh, that will end its turn for now. That brings us to either Milo or Biggis. You get to decide. You both rolled the nine. And this nerd is in oh, melee with all of us right now. Melee with all of you right now. Hmm. Do you have any preferences, Michael? I don't. Oh. Uh, not really. Um, but so I, I, I can go first then. Yeah, go for it. All right. I'm going to run around this bad boy. <laughs> Actually, well, technically, I'm going to fly. How tall is he? Uh, he is huge, and I am a person who does not have my. Uh... I think huge oh, is like 15-ish feet. Something tall. like that. Uh... Yeah. And I'll just I'll just go around him. Run as fast as your dwarf legs can carry you. All right. Does, it, does this count as flanking with Aridel? It is such a it's such a stretch to that like the, yes yeah it's flanking. If, if you don't want there to be flanking because it's massive, I mean no yeah. no 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 no. I'm looking at a picture of it and I'm like yeah it's flanking. All right. Um, I am going to take my first attack with my thunder gauntlets. All right. And that is a 23 to hit. It's... Was it a disadvantage? No, because I'm flanking. 
Oh. So it's just a regular straight roll. Just a regular, just a regular straight roll. Yeah. Oh, max damage. That is 15. What is that? <laughs> That's thunder damage. 15 thunder damage? I'm sorry, sorry. 13 thunder damage, not 15. Okay. And I'm going to take my second attack with Bunkus. And that is a 24 to hit. 24 also hits. All right. And that is 20 bludgeoning damage. All right. Now, I would like to mention when I hit a creature with my thunder gauntlets, they have disadvantage on attack rolls against targets other than me until the start of my next turn. Okay. Nice. Um, and that shall end my turn. Okay, then. Uh, that brings us to Milo. So the very first thing that I will do is use my action to upcast Bigby's hand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or M- M- Milo's hand, as <laughs> may be more appropriate. And I am going to... I'm gonna try and use grasping hand. I'm going for the going for broke. I'm gonna move it over here. And this is you said the creature size is huge, right? Yes. Milo's hand Milo handy. I like that. Uh yes, so it needs to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Milo's giving this thing a handy. Got it. <laughs> it's big enough now, oh, so here man. we go. What the heck? Jake, so, so what, what's what's happening? What do we need to do? You're gonna need a dexterity save, please. Okay. Yeah, they changed Bigby's hand with the grasping stuff. This is a 28 yeah. save. Uh, yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this thing moves, moves pretty quick. It's pretty quick. <laughs> sure does. Okay. Uh... Well, that's my action. That's great. I'm going to just move down to here, which is just a couple of squares. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I'm going to do with my bonus action here. Leave. (laughs) Get out however you can. Provoke an attack. Do I do it? Uh, No, I don't think that's worth it. Do it. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going (laughs) to. Oh. Michael just said in a good Michael just said a good point. I should have done it before. But go bigger, go home. That's all Milo knows. He's running. Oh right. no! Yeah, yeah. That disadvantage. <laughs> yes, that's a big reason why I feel semi okay about this. <laughs> semi. Yikes! That is at disadvantage. A twenty-one to hit. A 21? Now, oh, shield would wait only... Wait a minute, wait a minute. It wouldn't matter. Never mind. I was gonna say, shield would only get it to a 21, which is still a hit. <laughs> exactly what you needed. Uh, yeah, you hit me. Okay, uh, well, make concentration save, uh, I guess I have first. to know how much, de- how much damage first. Fair enough. Um, that will be 13 piercing. Okay. 8,000. Ooh, plus 17 poison damage. 30 damage. 30 total, yes. The next thing will be something different. All right, so my ward is down, and I only take 14 damage, but that means the DC is... Total DC then would be 15, so... But I have have Warcaster, so I have advantage, and I'm proficient. I, I feel good, I feel good. So you're rolling it even, because we also have disadvantage. Not on saving throws. Uh, really? I think it's just attacks and ability checks. I'll double check. Uh, but either but way, the I've, worst okay. result would have been, even if it was disadvantage, I got a 17. So I do keep my say, uh, keep concentration. Here comes okay. the strength part. And and yes, <laughs> uh, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Um, and Jake is correct. It's ability checks um, and attack rolls. So. Okay. I believe, I believe. 21. I rolled 21? a 19. Whoa. Go! All right. Yeah, dude, you save. I'm taking a picture. Ooh, baby. No, I believe you. I believe you. But that, no, that's, I just uh, because it. 
Encore, he says clutches it gets one. right there. Listen, I had my flash of genius ready because I was expecting to need it for that one. I had another right. pair of boxers ready for that because I did not believe it. <laughs> another pair of boxers, yes. That is the most clutch strength save a wizard has ever rolled. Oh. It's okay, I wear my brown and, pants today. And Milo gets eaten. Oh no. Well, that's All a right, great so start. I moved what I moved. I think I moved 10, so. 15, 20, and he's doing his thing. 25, he's, he's stumbling, he's stumbling, he's getting hit, he's, he's, he looks like he's drunk, but he's just poisoned, which I guess is kind of drunk. Probably and so he moves probably. in this direction. And here we go. Uh, that's it, Milo's done. Wow, okay. Holy snot. There is something that is happening. I just don't have the right thing up on my screen. Mm. Because I made a mistake, and you know, I was I was uh, I was reminded today by someone that it's <laughs> it's it's nice to watch a game that's not so polished. <laughs> it is. It's it's the it's it's nice, you know. But at the same time, it hurts a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Compliment um, sandwich. <laughs> Speak a little insult in there. It, 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 I do not believe that it was intended to be like that at all, but I mean, you know. Um, so I'm going to use one of my legendary actions to move without provoking opportunity attacks. Uh, 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 30, and then he's gonna move another. Okay, so dude is over here, but tw uh, was that twenty? Yeah, twenty feet in the air on the wall. On the wall. Okay. On the wall. Um, and now it is Aradil's turn. I can't even get to him. Well, this is a good excuse to mirror image. <laughs> nice. There you go. I'll just mirror image now. It's actually. Uh, Pretty good move. I will be purple border, and then my bonus action will be. Uh, did I use Hunter's Mark after the long rest? I don't remember if I did. Wait, I've been concentrating on it. Boom. We're good. I can't concentrate on it. What? Never mind. Wait, what do you mean? Because mirror image isn't concentration. Never mind. I'll put my Hunter's Mark on mm -hmm. him. That's my turn. Alright. Hunt, hunt does mock. He's green. Did, did you just cast two leveled spells? Isn't that a thing? No, I'm just kidding. I don't care even. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. Well, I had spell slats. Yes, thank you. Um, well, it is reactivating Hunter's Mark considered casting a spell. Okay. No. Um, Alright. That brings us back to the top of our initiative with the hurt a lot about to bring the hurt a lot um Ooh. you know i know it's the second you know. time i told the joke but i had i haven't said it on camera yet wow that was no funny. you didn't oh man <laughs> that's all right we're gonna try this again uh, 10 50 20 stop it <laughs> Stop it. Climb down the 20 feet off the wall and uh, roll to bite Milo with disadvantage. You know, uh, I think this is going to be another hit, my friends. That is what's the modifier? Yeah, that's a that's a, a, a 28. <laughs> You think? <laughs> you think? <laughs> and that will be 14 piercing damage plus uh, plus 13 poison damage. 27 all day. All right. All right. So 27. So divided by two. That's a, a 13 on the concentration. Six plus 
Nine is 15. Ooh. I thought it was seven, but I was like, either way, I was good. But I was like, oh, because one was a five, one was a six. <laughs> either way. Okay. Uh, now now yeah. for the strength save. All right. That's an eight. That's an eight. Okay, my friends. An eight total. Eight total. I don't know if Flash of Genius would... I don't think it's possible for, for that to do anything. I don't know how much you can 13 give. 13 is the ceiling. Uh, it's it's a five. Uh, yeah. So it's a, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, well, then. Um, Gulp. You watch, <laughs> yeah, as <laughs> this creature, like... He's going to come back and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it, it bites at Aradel. It swats at, at Milo and Aradel. Pegasus hits it pretty hard, but then this hand comes out of nowhere, and it's like, what the heck is going on with this hand? And then Milo is the one who was shouting and, and making noises as that was going on. He goes to run away. He gets clipped by the teeth as he's running away. The creature runs across the room, runs up the wall, runs across the side of the wall, and on its way down, just gulps Milo. And, uh... I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw my little just off to the side there, for now. Um, oh, uh, Milo, belly of the beast. <laughs> Milo, you are you are blinded and restrained. Okay. Uh, welcome back, Lee. Milo got swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> um, and he's got. How many feet does he have? kind of back up a little bit into that corner and then he'll uh, first attack on Lee with the claw is was that a disadvantage as well it was a disadvantage as well um, that is a 24 that's a hit second one is a 22 that is also a hit. no it's not a reaction missed it missed me baby okay I parried your big ass claw <laughs> but now you gotta roll to see if it actually hits you or the mirror image. Oh, mirror image changed though, didn't it? Um, oh, it did. No, I still have the old mirror image, so. Do you want to use the old or the new one, John? <laughs> what do you want? I mean, it's um, up to you. I, I don't uh, actually yeah. know the difference. I don't, I don't uh, get access to the new one because I'm an artificer. <laughs> it's it's up, up to you guys, whichever one you want to use. Let's just um, use the just... old one for now because it's here, but yeah. I don't care. Uh, so each time you're targeting an attack, roll a d20 to determine whether the attack instead targets one of your duplicates. So let's roll a six or higher to change it to a duplicate. Pretty strong chance. Uh, yeah, that hits a duplicate. All right. Um, it doesn't even matter how much damage no, I do, just or is kill, it just... it's just it's, it's gone though. All right. Yeah. It's it swipes at you and it's like what's going on because you're kind of like blinking in and out you know because there's there's a bunch of you the mirror images um and uh yeah and then the second one missed right you said you yeah i parried it okay all right very good that will end the creature's turn and brings us to biggest all right uh, he's up he's up to, up on the wall right it like kind of like he's got some limbs on the wall, some on the ground. Like you, you've seen a like a spider in a corner before. Like that's kind of what it looks like. Well, you know, me and my uh, flying boot, my winged boots, are gonna take off, <laughs> and I'm going to fly over to him and just try to hit him. <laughs> nice. Yeah, roll, roll for it. That is a 17 to hit. Uh, yeah, 17 hits. Disadvantage? That was a disadvantage. Otherwise, oh, it would have been a 28 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is 18 bludgeoning damage. And then I am going to uh, take a swing at him with my uh, Thunder Gauntlets. Nice. Nice. And that is a 27 to hit. Very nice. When you roll dual 18s, that's just nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and 
that it, oh my gosh that is another max damage 13 thunder damage nice nice <laughs> i like that d8 he needs to come back <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and that will end my turn all right um that brings us to milo or milo goes he says, Giggle Shorts! And he He's... uses his contingency to cast Dimension Door. <laughs> uh, you said it yeah, was gonna like I a mean... legendary action kind of a <laughs> way we were gonna structure that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a teleport. It, it is, it is a teleport. <laughs> and that's just, it's kind of like Misty Step, how you just, you don't have, you, you're not, opening a portal and walking through it you it requires no movement it just you just disappear. you just teleport to a location with in range i don't have to see right. it that's there you go uh is there a thing or is this mumbo jumbo god's magic disrupting the astral plane <laughs> <laughs> i have to throw it whoa. out there <laughs> whoa jake um, i have to throw it out there wobbly. <laughs> That Milo raises, is now in two pieces. <laughs> that raises a really interesting... <laughs> like, <so. laughs> He's you know, got a tongue you, coming out of his ear. <laughs> if you if you didn't say that, that I wouldn't have thought of it at all. Um, I just thought of it right now, so I was, like, where, I was doing it either way, but... I, I want to read through what it says and just see. Okay, cool. Da, da, da. Hurtle lock dies uh, when any teleportation magic is used within 10 feet. Uh, I like that interpretation. <laughs> yeah, uh, man, it's so. Oh my goodness. You do you, man. I'm fine with whatever you decide. I just, I, I, I'm, I'm in the belly I'm, of a beast. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna read to you what this says. Um, oh, hold on a sec. Uh, nope. You're all good. When a creature within the wreck segment casts a spell, that would teleport it or another mm. creature. Even though the flavor text before that does Ooh. not match up with what it says, but I'm okay with that. Because I wow. think that would be awful. Absolutely awful if you <laughs> suddenly disappeared. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I mean, Where listen, I it would go? be better than him being in the stomach. So. Appears yeah, in yeah, top just better. Sure. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Milo is going to appear. Uh, I actually have a quick question. Would I be able to? He's small enough to move through this area, right? Like this whole mm -hmm. zone. All right. So he's just gonna. <laughs> so the two of you guys see him swallow, <laughs> follow Milo, and you just hear like a little. As he like pops out over here, he's like, oh! <laughs> I feel like you see like like his his hair is like all like stomach acid and saliva or whatever is going on. It's just, yep. I wanted to do it before his turn started, <laughs> which is oh, very important man. to me. <laughs> that is a contingency and a half. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Seriously. Uh, and then he's gonna use his action, point his wand at him, and cast Mind Sliver. So I need an intelligence saving throw, please. Right. Nice. That is. Uh, does an 11 save? No, it does not. <laughs> All hey, right. Hey, hey, Jake. Yes? I think it does, man. Oh, no. <laughs> What legend of the, of creature is this? <laughs> All right. The legendary hurt a lot. Yeah, it hurts a lot. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, then Milo's going to try to use his hand to give him a handy, and he's going <laughs> to use his bonus action to uh, move this thing 60 feet. Actually, I'm just assuming it still works the same. Let me make sure. I think it's 60 feet. I could move it. Yeah. I could get to him with 60 feet from here, right? I think so. Yeah, it's yeah. about 35. Right, 20, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to try and do the grasp on him again. All right. So uh, now I need right. a dexterity save. Firmly grasp it. Alrighty, that is a 28. <laughs> I think that's what it was last time, actually. It is, yeah. You did. 
All right, and then Milo is going to just kind of take a couple steps back here and hang out. <laughs> Try and like, oh, oh god, <laughs> he's he's done. Uh, Yup. Um, and this is it. It doesn't feel right. <laughs> But I you know, at the you know. at the end, <laughs> at the end of Milo's turn, um, the hurt lad is going to run across the wall, right over to this side, and uh, and now it's Aradil's turn, which I I think you have enough movement to still get there, so it should. Oh be yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Thing. Okay. All right. Good. I think I do. Yeah, you're twenty-seven feet away. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. All right, this son of a gun. I'm gonna go run up to him and be like, you son of a gun! <laughs> <laughs> Milo worked so hard on his hair today! <laughs> <laughs> I will use my random heroic inspiration for the day for my first roll for the attack. <laughs> yeah, it's a miss. Alright, I will use my second attack. That is a... Math, math, math. Um... A 23. That hits. Okay. My third attack, which is just a normal roll, which is a 21. I'll do my fourth attack, which is another normal roll, which is only a 16, a f uh, 15, sorry. Still hits. And then I'll do my last attack, which is at disadvantage for my, for my bonus action. Which is a natural 20 and an 18. Nice. <laughs> so I, I at least hit it. <laughs> uh, so my first attack. But you didn't hit it with a Vex ahead of time? I did. I had to use my sh my other weapon to get the extra attack for my bonus action. So I didn't get the Vex on it because I had to use a finesse or whatever the other had to property ask, was. Because a yeah, 20 yeah, yeah. would have been beautiful. Um, okay, first attack is going to be this one. And... And... You turned off your lightning stuff, right? Or, or my lightning that... gloves. I still have my sword that does lightning damage, but okay. my gloves are gone, though. Okay. Um, Just tell me, ten. tell me what's what. Oh, oh, so oh, yes, me for the lightning damage breakdown, but not Mr. Biggest, huh? Oh, I see. Biggest did thunder damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why they're called um, thunder gauntlet? Hey, you know what? Don't don't break it down. Just tell me what the total is. Hold on one second. No, I'm, I'm actually mathing. Uh, five, ten. So for slashing damage, just slashing damage, we're looking at 20 slashing for the first attack and three lightning. For the second attack, we're looking at 15 slashing and one lightning damage. For the third third attack, we're looking... That's the other weapon, so it's this. We're looking at 12 slashing, that's it. And then for the fourth attack, we're looking at 14 slashing and two lightning. <clears throat> that's my entire turn. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, that's my turn. So I'm gonna hold, a total I'm gonna hold. 67 points of damage that round. That's a good move, nice. Iredale. Nice. Um, and uh, this this monstrosity, as it's standing in front of you, it's got some of its legs on the wall again, some on the ground, and its tail thrashing with these spikes all over it. Just and uh, it almost like looks like it's gonna throw up for a moment, and then it doesn't. It's fine. Um, it's now it's this is this dude's turn. So, so we're gonna try to bite you. Thunder gauntlets are active. That is oh, so disadvantage. Yes. All right. Well, I rolled two fours, uh, <laughs> which is a sixteen to hit. I Every thought you'd be like, man, that is a twenty-two to hit. All right. Claw attack. First one is a 14. Second one is a 23. A hit? Yeah. 
I'm gonna just use my reaction and deflect it. Oh wait, 23 does hit me, so I'm gonna roll a d20. Don't forget your, yeah, don't forget your mirror yeah, image. Yeah, I'm gonna roll the mirror image. The, that actually does hit me. <clears throat> All right, that's gonna do 16 slashing damage. And that will end the creature's turn. Bring us back to Biggest. All right. Bigus with his winged boots is gonna do the exact same thing. <laughs> 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 it ain't broke. Right. Keep hitting it. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. That's a hit. And that is 17 bludgeoning damage. And then I'm going to take a swing with my uh, thunder gauntlets. And that is a, another 19 to hit. That's a hit. And Still. That one is 10 thunder damage. All right. And nice poof. That will end my turn. And it still has... So anytime you hit with the thunder gauntlets, it's disadvantage to hit anything except you until the end of your next turn. Correct. All right. Cool. Um, Milo? Huge. All right. Huge. Milo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Milo's in the... Uh... Milo kind of shake, shakes it off, just kind of wipes some saliva out of his hair. Pokes his wand out and does another mind sliver to. Uh, so I need another intelligence <laughs> save, please. <laughs> okay. uh, that one is a 13. Okay. Are you letting it stand? Uh... Yeah, we'll let it stand. Actually, is that a silly move? That's okay, we'll let it stand. That's a pretty All silly right. move if you ask me. <laughs> That's 11, 11 psychic damage <laughs> to him. And then uh, Milo just peeks his he peeks his head forward and just looks at the the hand and just uh, you see he, his hand Milo's hand goes like this, and then it just zips across the the room trying to punch Rocket. him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Not trying to get him, on just the attack. To punch him. Just punching down, yeah. 21 strength, uh, Steve, bitch. <laughs> yeah, no, I, <laughs> I know he just succeeded, but here we go. Disadvantage, but we have a plus 11. That's the second time I got a natural 20 and a natural one. Oh, oh man. But I get to reroll those. Oh, okay. You do. Wow. <laughs> Wait. That's such BS the way that works, but you're right. I was just saying, I mean, listen, if you want to overrule it, I understand, no, no, but I think that's how the rules work. Yeah. No, 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 I do not overrule that. No, no, no. I, I do have a question about that, though. Do you just reroll the one die, or do you yeah. have to reroll yes. both? You just reroll the you one. Re -roll the you reroll the one, actually. the lesser of the two. Yeah, Josh and I actually looked this up the other day. Interesting. I would have thought that you would have rerolled both. It's 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 a actually turns into an eighteen, which is a twenty nine to hit. <laughs> so, nice. That's a hit. And because Milo I upcast it, it's hey, Milo, Milo punch. Yes, because I upcast it, it's an extra two d eight damage, so it's seven d eight. Seven d eight. Right. Upcasting is so good in the new edition. It is. It's plus. Well, so 37 force damage as this thing just comes yes. across and just punches it square, square in the chest. 37? It can move six, 30, 37, yeah. So it just slides over, just right over the top of biggest. Bang! <laughs> just punches it. Nice. And then Milo ducks around again out of sight and he's going to end his turn. Yeah, you, you kind of like it. It, it was just just recovering from Biggis's hit and then the head just kind of like smacks into the wall and like looks back and it just shrieks at you in anger now I'm gonna have to do something obnoxious um, and it's going to use its legendary action to crawl up the wall 
um, just just crawl 50 feet up the wall to the ceiling. And that is now Aradil's turn. Okay. Um, how, how high was it? It was like... Previously. Yeah, it, we'll call it like five feet off the ground, if even that, because it had like two feet on the wall and two feet on the ground. Oh, uh, okay. So it's still in the same position, just 50 feet up now. Yeah, right. So here's the thing. Um, and you tell me how you want to do this, if you want to even do this. Violently. Um, right. Uh, I don't like that he flew up there, or is climbing up there. Mm-hmm. How would you rule if I Misty stepped onto his back and then started slashing? I like the idea. I know it's risky, but I'm all about it. Yeah, I feel like some sort of save would be in order to hold on. Okay. How do you feel about that? I mean, it's as good as I'm going to get. How far can you Misty step? Oh, that's a good question. I think it's only 30 feet. It might only be 30 feet. That's true. I thought it was like 120. Nah, Misty like step that. is very short. Uh, that's, no. um, yeah, it's only 30 feet. Nah, shit. Never mind. Well, hmm. what what middle ground can we can we reach here? Um, I it says 30 feet, so it's te- it's definitely not going to reach. I don't think I can jump that high. I'm not very strong. But it's we agreed that it's about 15 feet tall. So 50 feet, you know, it's a 50 foot ceiling. Minus 15, that puts it at, at I can uh, what, jump 35? 5 feet, I think. I think that is doable. Yeah. So that's um, up to you. <clears throat> so I think, uh, how how can we make this make sense? What, you mean it, like a save it, to hold on to it? Yeah, that's, um, that's what kind of like what I'm thinking. Um, so Jake, Jake, you missed it. I'm going to Misty step onto the creature's back and just start slashing. That sounds I exciting think, to me. <laughs> I think we'll we'll call it either an athletics check or a strength save to hold on to it. That um, is your choice. Be, how be high, high is it? 50 feet up. It's 15 feet tall. The, the creature itself. Isn't your messy step only 30 feet range to begin with? Yeah, but he's 15 feet, feet, feet tall, so he's 15 feet down, about 35 feet up high. I can probably jump five feet to make the distance. <laughs> so you're like going to leap? Misty step. <laughs> Pretty much, that's the plan. Yeah. Run at the wall. Cool and like, yeah, I'm gonna run up the wall. Up the roll maybe that's it. Maybe the save is to run up the wall to see if I can <laughs> make it. How about that? It's it's sure. It does sound like and a rolls involved. It's it's not gonna be it's not gonna be easy to hold on to it. I'll say, um, but yeah, I, I mean. So so what do you want me to roll and be, be I'm, aware? I'm just gonna say either either athletics or a strength save. No 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 no. You you decide this because I have advantage on athletics check. Well, and I'm not cheesing you on. This. Are you saving against something, or are you trying to do something as well? This, well he's, trying, he's trying to hold on, which is like I feel like exactly. I feel oh, like yeah. those kind of go both well, ways. He's shaking. Oh, so let's okay. let the fate decide, huh? On an odd number, I mean, rolling a d4. Odd number, you okay. are you're making athletics check. Uh, even number, you're doing like, a strength save. I approve of this. Odd number, you're doing an athletics check. Okay, that's pretty me. And and we're gonna call it a bonus action to do this, just so you have all the info. Oh, you're yeah, that already well, used I, a bonus I, I action. I use my misty step. All right. Yeah. So, forget it. You can still just do it, and that's <laughs> fine. You still gotta make the roll. <laughs> okay. Um. It's the fun of D and D, people. You gotta just. Roll with is it. Roll with is, it. Is, is it cool? How do we make it make sense? How do we make it at least a little bit fair? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. That's not very good. Uh, that's actually... 16 is what I was thinking. Yeah, it's not enough. Uh, let me double check. What What did you get? Yeah, I'm going to... Hold on one second. I'm going... So I got an 11. But I'm going to use my tactical mind and expend a second wind to add a d10 to that. Or <laughs> no, I can just flash of genius, add a five to it. And that's a sixteen is what you needed. Is oh, that an ability that or save? 
Yes. Why don't Middle we East let me do this? Or saving throw. Second wind is isn't super super. I feel like your flash of genius is much more important. I have four, if, four more of them. I have four more of this. Uh, maybe and this, this only worse. affects me. This only affects me. Uh, if I fail this, use it. I didn't realize oh. you had four second oh. wins. Yeah. All right. Oh. That's a 17. Let's go. Yeah, you got it. So you're holding on to this thing Fire back. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first one is our normal roll. That is a 24. The second one is also a normal roll. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, that's okay. That's what? Right. What's not? What is it? What is it? I was about to say, how are you dual wielding by doing this? But it's okay. We've already spent enough oh. time figuring this out. Do you do your thing. Roll your attacks like you normally would. <laughs> a second one's only a 14. He did um, use his bonus action, so he sort of doesn't have to. True. Uh, a 14 hits, believe it or not. It's oh, exactly wow. What you and then needed. the third attack is a 16. All right, so the first attack, the first attack, I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use my, which is that feet thing we did a long, a while ago. So I will deal, hold on one sec. So it's going to be 17 slashing damage, seven force damage, and one lightning damage. And I need a wisdom saving throw. Oh, uh, that's a magical effect, right? Uh, it's a feat. It's a spell-like ability because it's a feat. So I don't. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, fifteen on the save. Eight plus my proficiency, which is four, so that would be twelve. Plus my charisma, which would be three. So it's so he saves. Okay. So the second attack is going to be fifteen slashing and three lightning and the third attack uh is only gonna be 11 slashing and six lightning right. and that's my turn okay nice <clears throat> yeah so you have like um so you're like slashing this this thing and and you know doing your worst um some I'm doing my spikes. best. What are you talking about? Some of the, <laughs> some of the, some of the, you, you've like knocked a couple spikes off of him. There's, there's this, uh, like pink neon colored blood, also like a cloudy white coming out of it with, uh, you know, as, as you're slashing into some of the areas that, Milo and and Biggis have have crushed in, um, and uh, that brings us back to the top. And I think, do you still have mirror image things going? Yeah, I got two more. Dang, that's crazy. Oh, you're hanging on this thing's back right now. There's like three air, and I was just like, "What?" <laughs> um, it's just gonna, go in the middle. It's gonna straight up drop from the ceiling. Sweet. Um, okay, I'll take that. Oh wow. Which is until it lands on my on on his back and squashes. Yeah. Me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, if fifty feet and a deck save. <laughs> so uh, what is that? One d six per ten From feet. The top is that rope. how it works? It's gonna yeah, so it's, it's hurt a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not... I feel like he just pulled the chair out from under the ring. He's about to go and see All right, so both of us take 17 bludgeoning damage. And I need that I need that deck save from you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I only take 17. I should take a bit more with this guy squashing me, don't you think? I said deck save. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, this is not a disadvantage, right? Hey, well, what you wish for. Um, it's a save and you're poisoned. <laughs> Uh, saves are not at disadvantage. Saves are not correct. at disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, that is a nineteen. Okay. Yeah. You. Um, you kind of just. The, the, I feel like you. You let go as you were falling, and you were able to kind of like roll a little bit. Um, and you know, with a nineteen, I'm not even going to say that you have the prone condition, even though perhaps you should. 
Um, uh, so, to for the first time tonight, avoid attacking with disadvantage, or maybe the second time tonight. Uh, we're going for biggest, although we still <laughs> have still disadvantage. With disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> At least the first attack. Yeah. And that's uh, the beauty of the displacer cloak on you. <laughs> Jokes okay. on you. We need, it's always a a we need to make a meme of biggest with like the stonks background and whatnot. Like, only like disadvantage. Your AC is so good that I'm genuinely not sure if this hits 24. It, 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 that hits. Okay. And now for the rest of the attacks, it won't. Well, it was a bite. So okay. we are going to. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. This first, guy ain't no quitter, I'll tell you what. <laughs> first, you're going to take 12 piercing damage. Then you are going to take 20 uh, poison damage, but I believe yeah. you're... Yeah, <laughs> yep. Um, it, which is really funny how that worked out, because every other time I've done the poison damage, I've rolled like right around 13. And the one time I rolled above it, you dropped it down still to like that. I think that's fun. Um, and I need a strength save. Drink save. Let's see. Do we need the flash? That is genius? not good. That's and I don't, even, I, I don't, I don't even. I don't even think flash genius will help. Oh, it's a nine. Uh, yeah. With a, a nine, um, you are swallowed by the beast. You are blinded. You are restrained. We'll throw you off to the side for now. As it just kind of drops from the sky, seemingly out of nowhere, chomps you on the way down. <laughs> um, which is why, like, it almost, it kind of, like, catches you off, off guard a little bit, because what the heck is happening? Um, and then now it's going to make, uh, it's going to make some attacks against Aradel, which I guess they're still at disadvantage. Um, first one is a dirty 20. I'm gonna reaction that so it misses. And the second one is a 14. That's a miss. All right. Um, that will uh, that will end that will end the turn. And that actually brings us to um, to biggest. Uh, biggest is restrained and blinded. Just because I want the fun of it. I'm going to cast a level three thunder wave while I am inside nice. of this creature. <laughs> I thought of nice. that when I was in there too. I was like, that could be fun. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. This is some, um, some indigestion here. <laughs> what do you what do you need? What do you need from me? I need a con saving throw. <laughs> Alright. Uh that's a twenty-three. Yeah, that does save. It's like smog. Dwarf gives him indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is going to be. He's still. This still. Twenty-two thunder damage. Right. Oh, so that that would be that would be halved. So. So eleven thunder 11. damage. Oh okay. Right. At a level three. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, like the <laughs> it's <laughs> organs like like you, you see like the stomach lining and everything it, uh, not dissimilar to what this whole place looks like that you're in right now. Um, well, actually, I mean, I guess you're blinded, but um, but everything just kind of shakes inside um, some stomach acid sprays and hits you and um, and from the outside. Um, you visibly see the Hurtalod's stomach expand <laughs> and then close and then like almost like a bubble goes up that long neck and just, just... <laughs> uh, <laughs> went, but I did my best. It burps. Um, and that brings us to Milo's turn. Actually, now that uh, well, biggest, was there anything else you wanted to do? That was your action. Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, actually, yes. I want to use my bonus action, and I'm going to use defensive field. 
so I get 12 more temporary hit points. Nice. Great move. Um, okay. So as Biggest ends his turn, before Milo starts his, um, the Hurtalot is going to use the feed legendary action. Um, and... Fun. Let's see. I need, I need one more d6. There we go. Here comes the hurt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not that crazy. Um, you are going to take Vigus. You're going to take eight um, necrotic damage, um, mm -hmm. which probably just comes out of your temp HP. It's called hurt a little. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hurt a <snake. laughs> Um, all right, and that brings us to Milo. We... All right, we're gonna do the old PJ blinders. Him. Where's Gus? <laughs> Mind sliver. <laughs> I need an, intelli <laughs> an intelligence save. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, that's a 14. Are we accepting the result? Yeah. Okay. That is only nine psychic damage. And then uh, we're going to pounce with, uh, with the pounch. fist as my bonus, <laughs> bonus you're action. Gonna, you're going to what? Pounce. Punch. Oh, okay. <laughs> what okay, you got? So that's a 25 to hit. That hits. Holy smokes. 10, 20. 27 force damage. Nice. Wow. Okay, that's not too bad. Well, the last one was in the 30s, oh, so I was like, oh, well, I said, and there was two of them that rolled ones. So I went, oh, okay. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> but, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no problem. He, like, smacks him on the top of the head, like, gush, gush, <laughs> like he just tried to <laughs> just beat the thing, but... <laughs> I was thinking um, more like open hand smacking his back, like, 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 like here, let my people burp, go. Yeah. Burp. <laughs> yes, let, let my people go. I love that. Uh, he had half a mind to see if you'd let him dimension door in so he could dimension door out next turn with, with big hits. <laughs> but I figured just damage this hey, thing. You're welcome to um, if you want to retcon what you just did, you know, you're, no, you're no, welcome I, to I, both spend a turn in the in the tummy. I think I think we're gonna handle that as as it is. And I I, I other than just tucking back in behind the corner here, I, I think that's it for Milo. Alright. Um stop me if you've seen this before. Her lod is going to Use its sprint legendary action to. How many legendary actions does it have? Run straight up the wall. Um, fifty feet up again. Aradell, your move. I can't. I can't do anything. This is. This is why playing Shoot a fighter him. sucks. <laughs> Shoot him! You got a bow. You're a dex based fighter. Yeah. yeah you got a bow. I don't get my. I don't got get a hand crossbow. Shit. <laughs> Hold on. I mean, you still have Hunter's Mark. You mean the Ranger ability? Oh, I mean the spell. Yeah. <laughs> you mean <laughs> not the nothing. only feature that the Ranger <laughs> class has? See, that was a strategy, guys. I pissed Josh off by bringing up the Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> My first attack. <laughs> you just enraged the DM. <laughs> I, it's a uh, it's a twenty, not a natural twenty, but a twenty. Yeah, it hits. Now, does shortbows have Vex, or, or what do they have? Shortbows have Vex, they do. Okay, yeah, Vex, yeah. Second attack is going to be a beautiful 21. That's a hit. The Thoid attack is good. That's a cock. That's going to be a 25. That's a hit, so that's three um, hits. I can't use my bonus action for an attack with a shortbow. So I guess I'll Seven just win. Second wind. Um, and you can yeah. move a little bit too if you want. Right? Isn't that the undecided yeah, deal? I will... Yeah, when I use my second wind, I can. Yeah. So I'm going to regain 22 hit points. Best roll I could do. And I'm going to then freely move up to half of my movement speed 
to in the middle because I think I can get anywhere. Uh, and now I'll roll the damage for this. And as I'm shooting, I'll be like, Vegas, get the fuck out of there! <laughs> so I'm shooting the bow. <laughs> All right, so the bow. That's going to be five, 11, no, five, 10 piercing for the first attack, 14 piercing for the second attack, and then 10 piercing for the third attack. And that's my turn. This thing looks beat up. Um, and let double check this. Yeah, it started. Uh, gonna do a little bit of this. Okay. One, two, lame. All right. Seven poison damage to uh, to biggest. Did you already have it? I did not. Sweet. <laughs> I've put myself in a pickle. <laughs> it's gonna drop from the ceiling again. Taking another 5d6 damage. Mm -hmm. This is so funny. You guys only saw what was going on behind the screen. <laughs> Um, it is going to move the rest of its movement right up to Aradel and attempt to bite him. Sure. And for once, it's not a disadvantage. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not a disadvantage, but I rolled a natural two, so the, so that's a miss. Um, but we'll do some claw attacks too. That's a natural 20 on the first claw attack. Uh, is it we'll hit me, if, though? Does yeah, it that's hit what me? we'll see. It does not! <laughs> Mirror image! All right, I second, know one more. Second one's a 24. Does that hit? 24 would hit me, but let's see if it does hit me. And that one does hit me. Okay. Oh, my God. That stinks. Um, all right, that's going to be nine slashing damage because I rolled very poorly. Mm. Uh, yeah, and that that will end this dude's turn. Brings us back to Biggis. And all you hear Biggis yell is, you're trapped in here with me. I knew it. <laughs> and he's going <laughs> to uh, swing with Bunkus. Yeah. Which is, uh, uh, get him. <laughs> With oh, triple well, disadvantage. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's all disadvantage anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's not trapped. You're the one trapped. That's, that's that the problem an with eight. an all or nothing system. That is yeah. an 18 to hit. That hits. And I am also going to cast a level two chromatic charge. Okay. So I will. Hold on just a second here. Uh. All right, so that is 18 bludgeoning damage and that and uh, 10 thunder damage. Thunderdome. You said 18 and 10? Yes. OK. Uh, yeah, so when you do that. Michael. Describe to me how much bile and stomach acid oh and God. nastiness gets sprayed onto Aradel as you burst your way <laughs> through the stomach, through the belly of this beast. Tell us what it, what everything looks like. You you've seen those things where like a pool breaks and it just like whoosh. That that is what it does. Like I mean, it not only does it coat him, but it also like knocks him off of his feet. I mean, you know, Come because, on. because of just how much whoosh is out. So with the whoosh, <laughs> so Vegas wonderfully gross. Slides by, Aradel slides by. <laughs> Boom. And Milo not looking and really not knowing no. exactly what's going on. <laughs> Suddenly there's a wave of 
some of the worst smelling <laughs> thing you have ever smelled, but familiar because it's on you and you were inside the stomach of this beast. There are, uh, <laughs> there's chunks of what seems to be like maybe part of this, this heart that you're in. There are, are, are little like parasites and things and, and uh, just stomach acid and bile and guts all around the floor. Um, the biggest has finished the beast. <laughs> he just kind of like climbs out of it. <laughs> I feel like Milo peeks his head around. He looks at Aradel, his eyes go wide. He peeks around and sees biggest climb out of this gory mess. He has his wand out like he's ready to just like smash, smash the creature with the hand. <laughs> he just goes. <laughs> I actually think he goes. Whoa! <laughs> like he kind of just like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'll get up, kind of like whip myself off, and be like, "That is the grossest door you've ever burst down, biggest." <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make your own door. <laughs> <laughs> now being able to see, you know, you're you're wiping the gore from your your eyes and your face. Um, there's a light source inside the gullet of this creature. But he just reaches in, <laughs> pulls it out. Yeah. This is it was uh, a mine. Ah! very <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> it, it is a, a very familiar um, type of magic that you feel as you have found the second piece of the rod of seven parts. And let's take a quick five right there. Here at J&J Tabletop, we're trying to help you get the most out of your games by helping you unlock what works best for you at your table. Whether you're a player or dungeon master, or even play other systems, we'll help you take your experiences to the next level. Subscribe today and get even more out of your games. Our very own Lee, who plays Aradel Brightmaw, also created our intro video, Scaled Mount Kilimanjaro, and is as Irish as they come. He also has his YouTube channel dedicated entirely to making D&D fun again. Highly imitated, never duplicated. You will laugh, learn, and enjoy his content. So head to youtube.com slash at this crits and subscribe today. Our character art was created by Kaya from fablewoodgoods.com. Fablewood Goods is an immersive fantasy business for authors, books, and brands. Explore the Fablewoods' unique lore through seasonal shop updates filled with enchanted forests, dragons, and fae, or bring the magic to life with custom merch and illustration for your own worlds and whimsies. Our graphic overlays were created by our very own Jake at ttrpgoverlay.com. ttrpgoverlay.com is the premier resource for quality D&D and TTRPG actual play graphic overlays. Our overlay packs, like this one, The Lich King, are designed to be simple and enhance your content, which in our opinion is you. Stop by today and check out what we've got, including some free examples. Remember, you and your content are special. Our products help everyone see that. We appreciate every kind of support that J&J Tabletop gets. Watching and sharing our videos will always be the primary way you can do that. However, if you enjoy our content, please consider joining our channel as a member. It's a direct way to let us know you believe in what we are doing, and it helps us improve our content. We will be adding to the list of perks we offer as we get ideas, so check back regularly to see what's new. Don't forget to <laughs> smash that like button. So Vigus has found the second piece of the rod of seven parts. And with Lee's math, that means you need six more. With everyone else's math, that means you have five pieces left. You're not getting a reaction oh, on me. What do you want? It's so <laughs> gross. Like, do we exp We should. 
we're here. It's so it's like putridly awful oh, yeah. smell and everything, right? Like the air you know. is foul. I'm not talking about I a feel bird. Like... <laughs> F O W L. Um, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> Bigus, since he found this inside of the monster, he's just gonna kind of like kick around a little bit, see if there's anything else in there. You know, any, any neat little bits and bobs. <laughs> yeah, roll investigation. Oh, look at this little neat or, little. Or medicine. Is that a, is that a, is that a disadvantage? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I mean, if I can help, uh, I will. <laughs> that is a twelve. Um, you you notice as you like kick around that there are these worm-like things crawling around on the inside of the stomach and as you make that realization you kind of have the thought wait a second and you look and like some of the stomach pieces that are like smushed into you there's these worms crawling around on it and one of them is like super long um aside from those that horrible image uh you don't find anything else. Horrible image to me. I don't know about you. I think just to be thorough, Milo is going to actually cast the spell magic with a spell slot, so he doesn't have to do 10 more minutes as a ritual. <laughs> and just to be able to try and make sure he's not missing anything in here. Dispel magic? Did I say dispel? I meant detect. Okay. If I said dispel, right. I, that was a mistake. Understood. I heard dispel, but that's okay. Um, Been known to make mistakes, as I am human. <laughs> there, uh, there's a strong chaotic energy um, surrounding this whole area, um, but you are also inside um, the heart of a yeah. chaos god. So, but you. It's um, within thirty feet. So he's uh, yeah. I feel like he's just gonna quickly move over to here a little bit just to see if there's anything kind of yeah. in that room and so the air in this room this this appears to be some sort of like flooded atrium of the heart and the air in here is it's humid and there's a black sludge shimmering like almost like oil in the center of this room yeah. um and that is magical af all right so Creature or object in the area, if it bears magic, I could learn the school, but if it's not a creature or object, then I don't think you have to worry, you just... It's not a creature or object. It is a... Yeah. A sludge. <laughs> yeah. What you looking at there, Milo? Yeah, I, I, obviously if you're standing behind him, you can very easily see over him. <laughs> he just... He, he stumbles in a little bit, and then just says, this... This black goo is... Very magical. Um, so, is there any way to it. study it or try to maybe try to know what it could be? Sure. Um, I think Michael is about to say something before I. Oh. Talk Biggest about the is, I mean, unless he would somehow he would know this was an awful idea. Biggest with his alchemy kit would try to take a little vial of the black goo. Okay. Uh, yeah, Milo would want to do the same thing. Yeah, um, do it and give me a sleight of hand for both of you to see if you get the liquid on yourself or if you just get it in a vial. Uh, that okay. is a 13 uh, for me. Disadvantage, right? Yes. It's a seven. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> Here we go. Here we you, go. You get... <laughs> just the tiniest bit on you uh both of you um and it it's hard to describe the feeling that it is like it's it's like a almost like a like burning but it's cold um and it's just awful and uh, the two of you take 14 force damage. 
Oh. You just Does have it a do little, anything to the containers? A little, a little smudge of that liquid on your hand. Each of you, um, not each of you, the two of you. Uh, doesn't appear to do anything to the containers. The containers look okay. Milo casts Mage Hand and has the Mage Hand try to, like, wipe it off of him and... Okay. <laughs> yeah, the Mage Hand uh, is successful. Uh, it is still on biggest, though. Um... I think, I think Milo's, like... Just looking at you, like, eyes wide, like, are you gonna get that? <laughs> um, <laughs> biggest just takes, like, a, a, a little, uh, like, a... Uh, a, a handkerchief and just kind of like w tries to like wipe it off. Yeah, you're you're able to to clean it off. Um, both of you roll our common checks. Okay, uh, that is a twenty one. Uh, twenty two. You believe this to be the blood of Havak. Um, over on the I far end. Oh god. I was just gonna say, like as many open containers as we have, I would want to bring some back to. Uh, Tasha and I think it's pronounced illustrial. I like I our say, version better. But... I say illustrial. Yeah. Uh, Looked at yeah. the paragraph section in the lore glossary today. <laughs> like all they had on there. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> um, Anyways, I just would like, like to bring as much back for them to study and. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, on the far end of the room, there's this uh, this 10 foot wide, petrified, almost looks like it was an artery at one point. Um, and uh, it's caved in, but that's that's the room. You have the big pool. Yep. Yeah, exactly what you're circling is the petrified, caved in artery. Uh, All that cholesterol. Vegas is also um, going to go back and he's going to try to get one of the smaller worms and stick it in a bottle as well to take cool. with him. Yeah, you could do that. I think Milo just... Aridel's like watching us do this. He just like looks at Aridel and is like, there's no words. There's just like exhaustion and exasperation. And then he just walks out of the room. <laughs> Vegas. I'll just go... Woo! Like he did when we killed him and walk out. <laughs> yeah, I think unless there's anything else that you guys want to do in here, my will try to only this stinking place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, big biggest is as well. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get out of I'll this. I'll raise you out of here while I'm still yeah, faster. Pretty much. <laughs> 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 Fair um, enough. Well, what is going on with this? Why does it keep uh... resetting? Yeah, I didn't do that. It doesn't like you. It doesn't like you very much. It's okay. We will reveal all, but none of my NPCs are there. They must have. Uh, <laughs> oh no! They they it must How have to do with the uh, the update that they made, I guess. Um, maybe we're gonna play pretend as if that's not already what we're doing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pretend, pretend this time it's for real, <laughs> for real. Pretend this time. Uh, that's a great <laughs> movie trailer, right there. <laughs> pretend, that's, pretend this time, it's pretend, for real. pretend three. <laughs> this time it's for real. <laughs> it has to have a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, what was the captain's name again? <laughs> Anybody oh, take note? Oh God, we bandana. did. Hold on. Did you say bandana? I <laughs> said buttercup. <laughs> I remember. Buttercup. Oh. Anybody else? <laughs> Wasn't it Figaro? Nope, that was the first. No, that's the first Thank officer. you for remembering that. Um, the captain's name is In <laughs> Inda. Ina, Ina, Linda, Linda, yes. Linda. This is the uh, the woman who has the, uh, the prosthetic wing that Biggest was able to fix. Mm. The only yeah, thing Linda Biggest remembers HR. is the moon sings the song for the lost. <laughs> That's the only thing he remembers. You know, I'm impressed because the first time you said that, I had no idea what you were talking about. And now that you're saying it a second yes. time, I know what it is. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
Yes, yeah, so we emerge. Um, she is wielding her sword. She kind of holds it back and then looks at you and sees how gross you all look. She's like, oh, I, I take it you were successful? Yep. Yes, we were. Um, can, I know it what doesn't you... look like it, but uh, <laughs> flick more of the <laughs> snot off. <laughs> what, did, what did you find Milo starts. There? Milo starts almost obsessively casting prestidigitation to get everything <laughs> off of him. Yeah. And then he starts working on the two of you unless you shoo him away. Like he is, he's just doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Biggest is just like, not now. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he just then moves armor. to Aradel and he's like, I'm <laughs> fixing this. <laughs> uh, Aradel, please, by all means. <laughs> Yeah. Aradel's there like was... the dog that likes the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was like a big salamander thing there, but uh, it had the power source you were using for your ship. But um, that's neither here nor there. It's dead. We're ready to leave. How are you doing? Are you ready to leave too? Um. Yes, yeah, well, not without my, my crew, but yes. Well, yeah, we're going to go get them. They're on the way. Great, yeah, let's... Vegas looks at the hole where we came from in the sky, looks to where the other ship is, and is like, on the way. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say it out loud, but he just kind of like, you see him like looking, like you can tell the wheels are turning. That's really impressive, because aren't we inside of the ship? You're just looking at the roof of the ship. <laughs> For the moment, yeah, at least. Wait, but I'm like dude. looking um, up there, looking this direction where the other part of the ship is. Like, and what are you looking for? I'm looking because you know, we came through, through a hole in the sky. Yes. And that's over here. Mm -hmm. The other ship is over here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not on the way at all. <laughs> She doesn't need to know the details. Calm down. <laughs> You're overthinking uh -oh. it again. <laughs> Great. Do you need anything here? Casa and, and, and Red Bud. Yeah. Do you need anything on this section of the ship before we move to, uh, yeah, Ikasa and Red Bud? Um, no, no. Well, actually, yeah. Hold. Let me. Ah, I can't believe to be leaving this place behind. Um, yeah. Let me. Just grab the rest of my things. And um, she walks over to the broken armchair that was at the helm of the ship and um, pops open a secret compartment in the armrest and grabs a couple, uh, grabs a, a bronze tube, looks at it and sees that there's a couple scrolls in there. She closes it back up. Hmm, what you got there? <laughs> <laughs> well, Milo, Don't that's clearly it. a bronze tube. <laughs> <laughs> and and <laughs> um, as <laughs> every wizard hears scroll and they go, hmm? <laughs> uh, if if I could get from the three of you perception checks from the uh, the atrium Are we still of poisoned? the heart, no, uh, you're not currently poisoned. But for when I needed the perception check, you would have been poisoned. So. Oh, okay. So that is a disadvantage. Not terrible. 14. <laughs> Five. I roll a two and a three. 19 and a 12. <laughs> now, did I fail an ability check with a 17? You did not. You succeeded. Uh, Huzzah. As you were leaving the, uh, leaving the heart, uh, you found a spyglass. Would you care enough to keep it? Yes, are you kidding me? All right. Ooh, shiny thing on the floor. Let's pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you have a, have a spy. And I would also tell this person, oh, yeah, we also found this thing. Um, she'll, she'll look at it and just say, it's going to take some time before we get back on the astral seas again. Why don't you, why don't you three hold on to that? I'm just looking. Okay, awesome. I look at bigger. Oh, and 
fall back. <laughs> just got a big close up of Vigus's snot face. <laughs> Stumble back a little bit. Up. All right, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, but she so she grabs. She's got all her scrolls. She puts her her ring on her her uh, flame tongue sword and uh, holds her lantern, and she's ready to go. Cool. So flame tongue short sword, I should say. Are we good, lads? Let's go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's pick up the uh, the, the tree and the dog. <laughs> all right. Off God. we go. The tree. Does he have intelligence? <laughs> he can fly. Does he? <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, he. he yeah, I'm just. <laughs> it's not what I'm thinking about. We'll get there. Um. When he gets popped into the freaking sanctum area, <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, do you do you want to? Is there anything you want to RP, or are you just picking everybody up? Probably just picking them all up, right? I don't think we need to do much. Yeah, I'm I'm good with just picking picking everything up. Okay, all right. And then are you are you where is are you're bringing everyone to that first section of the ship and then traveling together? Is that the plan? The first section unless being the send... first one you visited. Yeah, unless we send like one person ahead to at least give a warning. Hey, guess what? Um... There's some people coming. No, I mean, I say we go pick them, pick them up. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just go. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think to warn anyone about it either. I'd just be like, yeah, let them. It's up. Let them figure it out. Yeah, exactly. All right. If you warn yeah, them. Yeah, they know. By the time, <laughs> um, by the time you get to the uh, the stern segment, um. You know, you have this giant tree that is like barely hanging on to this thing. You have Blink Dog, you have the captain, you have everybody else who is uh, a part of this ship. Um, the the dog, uh, whose name I for sure have not Ikasa. forgotten. Thank you, um, Ikasa. Mikasa Tukasa. Ikasa starts Tukasa. looking around and, and sniffing face on the ground, you know, like moving closer and eventually Ikasa uh, is reunited with Davaris. Says, Oh hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know, that's a it's a very very you. nice reunion. <laughs> 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 um yeah, now that you have everyone, everyone's really thankful. They don't totally understand how you just have a a portal hanging out, but they're not really going to question things either. So, uh, you know, they grab what they can. Everybody's kind of got like a box or a bag and uh, we're ready to move out. Um, and yeah, let's do this. As we begin to do that, uh, let me get a d6 from the three of you. Oh no. What the flying flip flap? It's a three. Same three. Three. Dead serious. No freaking Whoa. way. <laughs> I am dead serious. That's kind of fun. Whatever that happens, is... I don't... that's fun. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> So, you see in the distance, um, kind of coming from the same direction that you are going to, um, there is a small ship headed your way, and uh, they have a flag. There once was a ship Not really a flag. It's more like the the, the sail. Which is black and a skull and crossbones. And as they notice you, the ship kind of like turns a little bit, and you hear this deafening bang as a giant ball of lead starts flying in your direction. 
Um, and it, it's way wide and misses you. <laughs> Biggest, what do you think this is? <laughs> Um, I think this is pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Mm -hmm. Would I have the idea that if there was a, a hole blown in the hull of the ship, that it would start to go down? Yes. Oh, oh boy. Now I'm wishing we pulled that mine out of the corpse. <laughs> How far away is this? It's like 200 feet away. And I can only move 100 feet, right? Go on without me! It is like 100 feet away. <laughs> uh, alright. So... I am going to... fly within 60 feet of it. And then I am going to cast a level three shatter on the on the hull, like 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 kind of like in the bottom like like front of it. Okay. Uh, on the hull itself. Ah. Now a cre uh, so non magical object that isn't being worn or carried also takes damage if it's in the spells area. Okay. And so. how much? How much? How much damage? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, new information is coming to light. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he didn't think about it. <laughs> I'll jump in the way. <laughs> <It's Make it laughs> <go. laughs> Can I attempt to stop Biggest? What's What's going on? Can I attempt to stop <laughs> Biggest from they, casting? Uh, you, I, I, what's happening? <laughs> so, I, so, I mean, so, can I attempt they, to they, stop? They want to stop me from what I'm about to do. Uh, you can attempt to stop Biggest from casting, but he is like 60 feet ahead of you. <laughs> and and, slow. and I'm doing, doing I'm going to cast, how about this? I could cast Vortex Warp on Biggest. Yeah, it's a... <laughs> I go, base, wait! Because you can willingly fail it. <laughs> or you can have me. <laughs> his, his trusted friend is saying, wait. Yeah, it's his instincts. It, this is totally up to Vegas. However you want to. Yep. No, it handle. is, it is, it is. <laughs> I, I'll say you can even succeed on it if you want, but. But it's pirates. <laughs> there are other ways. Um, you'll always remember the stories of Captain Adonel Brightmaw and his BBC crew. All right. <laughs> <laughs> even, even I don't attack. Odd, I do. That's a two. Uh -oh. So I do uh -oh. not attack. Uh -oh. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Two spell slots wasted for just a Dude. meme. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, Captain Inda, do you want another ship? Um, <laughs> she she like kind of like looks to you and smiles and takes out her sword and and says flame on, and her short sword Let's freaking ignites, go! ignites <laughs> and uh, everybody everybody just roll uh, roll a d twenty for me. Really oh, wish I rested. Damn. I got an eleven. I got a Nineteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. Um, biggest is the closest. Sixty feet away. You're pretty close. You could see. You could see them. There's like four pirates up, like on the deck. They're trying to move a cannon in your direction. Um, one of them's pointing to you and and uh, and shouting some things. You see, he's got. He's got that old style naval hat. One of them's got a peg leg. The other's got an eye patch. You're almost, you're pretty sure there's a there's a parrot in there too. Um, what uh, what would you what would you like to do to them? Okay, so two questions. One, did that burn my spell slot? No. Okay. Second, how close together are they? They're pretty close together. 
lightning bolt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of the spell slot still gone. <laughs> um, that is a 17 dex save. That's a six. All right. A lot of D6. You know, uh, not for nothing, guys. 32 oh, lightning damage. They are vaporized. Like <laughs> it, it, like you, it's a, it, it, basically you just, you just said, Ramada Grava, you know, and. <laughs> 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 and just so everyone knows, Biggest points bonkus, and that's where the lightning shoots out. <laughs> yes, nice. Thor, go! Yes, you're here to me. Um, Milo and Aradel, anything that you would like to do? It seems like there's uh, there's a there's at least a couple more people on the ship. One person steering it. I want to see what Aradel does before Milo goes. I have nothing left that I can do that is cool. I am burnt to shit. But I'm going to ask, uh, and this is completely ridiculous ask. Can I burn literally every other thing I have from my indomitable charges to my second wind charges to everything for one more misty step to get close enough to yeah, do something? Yeah, of course you can. Okay, everything is burnt and I... <laughs> Misty step, go up, Misty step on the deck and just start slashing. Yeah, just roll me a d6 to see where you teleport to. No, I'm just kidding. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go, wait a minute. That's a three again. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you, you're on the deck. There's two more dudes who you're fighting and you just, you slash up at the, at the, the one dude. Um, knock the other one off off the edge and you'd think it's the astral sea you just float right no he's drowning <laughs> um, he's drowning <laughs> <laughs> there's that havoc blood <laughs> <laughs> um milo anything i think you'd like to do there's still a, there's still a person um driving the ship and whatever's going on underneath the the uh the, the the top floor. I would like to take out my scroll of major image. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to make sure I, I understand. <laughs> uh, I can I can create an image of an object, a creature, or some other visible phenomenon that's no longer than a larger than a twenty foot cube. <laughs> And so I want to make what looks like a platinum dragon. Oh, jeez. Because <laughs> and, and it's OK, so in a, a spot within range, which is 120 feet. So I want it to look like it approaches from behind and and uh, I, it can do. Let's see, I think I could do auditory. I could do like a whole bunch of things with it. Um, it can I see what the name of the ship is? Um. Yeah, you could see what the name of the ship is. <laughs> Randomnamegenerator.com. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. The Black Pearl. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you hear in like the most, uh, what's the guy's name who did uh, Cap uh, Commander Zavala, Lance Reddick? Reddick? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. You hear his voice. You know whether we wanted it or not. You hear that, that guy. Yeah. And he just said, and you just, the dragon says, crew of the Black Pearl, you have been found guilty of high treason against all goodness. <laughs> you are hereby ordered to evacuate your ship for to pay penance of your crimes. <laughs> and uh, you just see like a billowing, like, like flames just burst out. Just like a warning shot. Just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like people like, like duck and they're like screaming. Yeah, like and, a flyby and, kind of a thing. Yeah. yeah. And and at this point, um, Inda and, and her crew are, are now boarding the ship and, you know, they're, they're just, it's chaos. Um, 
but after after a couple minutes, probably just one minute, um, they have taken control of the ship, and uh, you know they're they're gonna rename it to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm, what are they gonna rename it to? <laughs> <laughs> It's it's um, they're changing the name of the, of the ship to uh, BBC's The Graham Norton Show. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic! Oh, this is this is home style D and D at its finest. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. So they, I mean, they they thank you for giving them the ship and just say, you know, is there, is there, this, this is, you've done so much for us. Is there, is there anything, anything that we can do for you? I, I, I have two request. Well, I have one request. Uh, well, not even a request, an ask. Could I purchase your sword? It looks very pretty. Um, she, I'll give you the scimitar. It's very piratey. She she frowns for a moment and then like looks up and smirks, and uh, and just says, "I'm always up for a trade. If I could have the scimitar, and uh, now that I have a ship again, I might need that spyglass." A yarn. I'll take the spyglass. Yeah. Um, and I'll. Uh, in the middle of that, like after that trading is done, right? Mm -hmm. I'll I'll pull her over really side, really like just like as everyone's like doing their little celebration and whatnot. Uh, I just want to pull her aside, and I want I want Milo and Biggest to mute or deafen for a second if they're cool with that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull her aside and be like, hey, listen, listen. So this is a lot of fun. I mean, the pirate thing was a lot of fun. Um, glad you have a ship back. Uh, so, is it possible? It, it completely superfluous how this pirate stuff work. I don't know anything about it. Could you like name me captain for a minute, just so I could say I'm Captain Aradel Brightmaw? Because these two guys are doctors, and they always introduce themselves as doctor. And now I want to say something silly just to just to one up them once. Can can we do that? Can somehow? Is that is that is that pirate lingo? Is that okay? Good. Um. Of course, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, yes. I'm a, I'm a doctor as well as you remember from our last conversation. Yeah, but, uh, and you remember that whole well, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, um, shall I announce it? Yes. Okay. You are. Thank you so much. Everybody back. Back. All right. Um. Before uh, before you before you all you know head on your way they th they thank you again um, they give you a chest that they found um, in inside the ship don't know what's inside it yet it's it's still locked they just say bring this back with you and uh, they say um, or really Inda says and now I present this sword. It saved me many a time, and my crew. To Honorary Captain Aradel Brightmaw of the BBC's <laughs> Graham Norton, Norton Show. show. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're welcome to sail with us anytime. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> Have at ye swabs! <laughs> Batten the sails and... Hatch, hatch the door, the the doors. Off we go, men. <laughs> and Milo or uh, Aaron just slowly so starts to float towards the fucking <laughs> portal. <laughs> Milo just shakes his head a little bit, looks at Big and then it just follows after Aaron after just waving to the rest of the crew. Pretty, pretty much. Right. And you have made it back, uh, back into the the main room in the sanctum, and I th I think this is a good place to to just wrap up right there. 
Um, as as we have completed chapter three at long last, our our voyage has come to an end. Um, <laughs> but uh, chapter four begins next week, so stay tuned as uh, we find out what's going on next and and uh, where that next piece will take us. So thanks for joining us. Remember that you can find Lee at youtube.com slash at this crits. Um, Yoda at Mr. Yoda underscore I underscore am everywhere he wants you to find him. <laughs> Which is like probably like Twitter. Where I am. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and uh, and then J and Jake right here on J and J Tabletop. Uh, if you enjoyed this, why don't you subscribe and join the Discord and hang out with us or... or or comment and tell us that you liked it. So, and that the real Josh T. Sure. Yeah. And I don't really do much anywhere. Tea. They're no they're out there. One. They are out there. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button, you scallywags. <laughs> <laughs> or walk the plank. <laughs>